Hello and welcome back to Mac UHE. Now this is the first lecture that we are starting regarding the forecasting techniques and before going to the forecasting of products, the demand or whatever they are. So before moving to the forecasting, we, there are some components of time series that means with increase in times, uh, what are the components uh, that we need to look for. So. For understanding, there are four major components uh, that we need to understand uh, what they are and how to deal with them while forecasting uh, different products and demands. Uh, the first one is trend. Now, the first thing about the trend is that it is over, over a large tenure. It might be for five years, ten years, and it changes whenever uh, with the population or it changes uh, with the customs or culture changes then the trends uh, trend changes now uh, simply by the graph you would know if it is uh, the time series right and we are having a certain demand demand of a product uh, for example uh, if you are looking for uh, uh, the dress called sari, sari in India then uh, it's a cultural thing and its demand is constantly increasing uh, with the time but uh, that's uh, something that it would take a lot of time for it to change right so it is just a simple line it started from zero and it keeps on increasing right in this direction but it might be a decreasing trend, right? If the cultural change, uh, culture change, or if the demand of the people change, or with the age, it it might get changed, and it might be rather than increasing, it might be a decreasing trend, right? So that's that is what the trend is. Secondly, uh, we need to talk about the second component, which is seasonal. And by seasonal, it is the word taken from the season that whenever the season change, uh, the the demand changes uh, with time. Now, it does not mean that we have to wait for the season to get changed. Seasonal might be in one day or it might be in one month, it might be weekly, it might be, but it must be within a year, about within a year or a little more than a year. Uh, not more, more than that and it is uh, the second part, important thing about the seasonal uh, is that it is the fluctuation so it is the to and fro fluctuation uh, uh, after a certain time period right for example uh, at the day you know, in a single day if you look for a single day then uh, we, in a certain time of day we are buying a certain things right uh, for example for the food components uh, if you are uh, you are going to buy food, there is certain time that you you go and buy the food, right? And then there are certain times at night where the there is no uh, the food is not sold, so the demand gets quite low at night and demand is quite high at the daytime, and that's what uh, the seasonal means. And in other words, if you are buying the dresses, so for the winter you get uh, warm dresses, and for the summer you you just wear the light dresses, and that's the demand changes with the seasonal. And so it is uh, with the time duration. Next thing is uh, the random variation. So the demand might vary randomly. That it it has no reason. Uh, but it, it might be for a certain reason. But it is uh, something that we cannot predict. That at that time the demand demand would vary in a certain way. So it is just a random variation due to certain reason. It might be due to polit political issues. It might be uh, due to some other clashes as well. Uh, finally, the cyclic is a demand that is for a certain number of periods or years right so it might be for two years for three years and it is also uh, the fluctuation and the up and down motion of the of the demands right so let's move and uh, try to understand it through the graph uh, understand each one of them over here so as we said that the trend is whether it is either increasing or the demand is either decreasing there's no other way for that so let's say we draw a demand with increasing trend right then uh, let's try to mark the years so i have a three year one two and three year time duration right and i want to know what is the seasonal fluctuations on there 
so let's say at the start of the year it is low and then it increases and then the year uh, to end it comes down and then increases comes down and then increases right so at the start of the each year there is the demand is gets low and then uh, after uh, in the middle of the year it gets quite high right so these are known as the seasonal peaks right so these are seasonal peaks these are the seasonal peaks because the, the demand is quite high at these peaks right and uh, then uh, let's suppose we are having a certain or random variation over here that means that uh, it was supposed to get lower but rather it gets something like this right so this is something that we could not predict right in our calculations or anything and that's that's why they are called as the random variation right and finally uh, the cyclic one now for the cyclic we need a certain uh, the data of certain years or long term data uh, in order to uh, predict our graph for that so let's suppose it, it might be something like this if it is for 50 years right uh, let's say this is a 50 year tenure and then you might get the data something like like this right so it requires uh, the, the previous data for a long period of time and then you can predict the cyclic data uh, these are the major four components of our time series and we will be taking and discussing these each one of them while uh, pred pred prediction of our future demands thank you very much if you have any issues please do ask i'll be more than glad to answer goodbye if you liked my video please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, would really appreciate the support.